Hello, who is this? Oh, hi, Kevin Spacey. This is Jimmy Dore. Jimmy Dore? I don't know a Jimmy Dore. <laughs> Explain who you are, please. Immediately. I have a podcast at a news analysis program called The Jimmy Dore Show, and I'm a regular contributor to the Young Turks Network. I thought you just said you had a puppet show on the internet or something. No, The Jimmy Dore Show. Whatever. What do you think you want to know? Well, uh, Mr. Spacey, a lot of people were very dissatisfied with your public apology. Some thought you were deflecting using that opportunity to come out of the closet. First of all, let's make one thing absolutely clear. I have nothing to be sorry for. Absolutely nothing. But I did my due diligence and released a lame public apology <laughs> like you do. <laughs> oh, you don't like it? Too bad. Fuck you. It's all you get. Okay. Wow. Wow, indeed. You want to be mad at me? Fine. But at least do me the courtesy of knowing what you should be mad about. Okay. For the past 25 years, I've had every twink in this town six ways from Sunday. <laughs> and New York. And London. <laughs> every confused Midwestern golden-haired marching band refugee with a Chardonnay-soaked stage mom willing to turn a blind, bloodshot eye to impromptu dance lessons. I've had them all. And guess what? They're all working today. Well, <laughs> at least the good ones. Oh my God. I'm not a predator. I'm a fucking gatekeeper. Hey there, Johnny Cornstock. You want to make it in show business? Well, then wear something lacy because here comes Spacey. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's how it works. That's how it's always worked. This is uh... fucking awesome. <laughs> yes, you're right. I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, Let me ask you a question, Jimmy Dore. Okay. Do you like movies and television? Yes. Then why don't you stop fucking with how we make movies and television? This, all of this, is part of the process. These are the grapes that make the wine. Oh, uh, really? If you peer inside a grand piano, nobody cares if you don't like what you see because you don't understand how it works. Your job is to shut up and enjoy <laughs> Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. I don't think you guys are going to be getting away with this much longer. Oh, really? We'll just see about that. Hello, this is Jimmy. Who's this? <laughs> Guess. Guess? I'll give you a hint. I assume you watched House of Cards. <laughs> no. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I assume you saw my little televised legal kerfuffle the other day. Well, I saw that you were arraigned for indecent assault and battery in a court. And didn't I look good doing it? P pleading not guilty to grabbing a teenager's junk? Not really. Let me tell you something, small fries. On that day, I flew on a private jet to Nantucket, spent a few hours there, then flew home and ate lobster thermidor with a nice 59 Chateau Lafitte. Even with an arraignment for a sex crime thrown in the middle there, I still had a better day than anyone listening to this. <laughs> wow, you really are a prick. I will grab your dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, you will not. We'll see. What is all this about? I mean, why are you calling media outlets and making weird home movies? <laughs> Do I have to spell it out for you? I'm making a comeback, baby. Oh, really? I sort of doubt that. <laughs> Why not? Louis C.K.'s doing it. <laughs> That's arguable. I'm going to perform King Lear at Governors in Long Island, <laughs> and somehow the play will get leaked. Everyone will gush over it, and I'll be in like Flynn. Yeah, I don't think... Uh... There's always a way back. Jack's back, baby. Oh, boy. You better <laughs> believe it. Because Kevin Spacey's coming back, warts and all. Not some watered-down, boring, uncontroversial, non-crotch-violating version of Kevin Spacey. Wear something lacy, America. Here comes Spacey. Ciao, bitch. <laughs> wow, Kevin Spacey. Hey, we haven't heard from disgraced actor Kevin Spacey in quite a while. Let's give him a call. <laughs> Hello, yes, is this Kevin Spacey? Maybe it is, maybe it is. 
present. Who's calling, please? <laughs> this is Jimmy Dore from the Jimmy Dore Show. The who now from the what now? What do you want? <laughs> oh, well, Mr. Spacey, we spoke last year, and I suppose I just wanted to catch up with you and see how you're handling all the legal trouble. What legal trouble? What legal trouble are you talking about, Mr. Door? Uh, isn't a masseuse suing you for sexual assault? Okay, first of all, a masseuse is a female. <laughs> I was being sued by a male massage person, which is called a masseur. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Like how I played a shantour in a Beyond the Sea. Okay, uh, uh, it, okay. Uh, isn't a masseur suing you for sexual assault? Well, he was. That suit has been dismissed in court. What? Why? <laughs> because he died. <laughs> Excuse me? And I don't know how much you know about the law, Mr. Doerr, but if you were being sued by somebody and that somebody dies, then the lawsuit goes away. <laughs> and that's a fact, Jack. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. There is no God. <laughs> Jesus. He died under mysterious circumstances, which are my favorite circumstances. <laughs> a real nail biter, a real whodunit. I'm kind of feeling sick to my stomach. Really? That's strange. I feel great. <laughs> I guess this was a real convenient turn of events for you then, Mr. Spacey, the guy dying. I extend my warmest condolences to his friends and family. You really are a terrible person. Oh, spare me your judgment. Would you have really done anything differently if you were in my shoes? Well, first of all, I wouldn't be in your shoes to begin with. Well, aren't you just a boy scout? You've got your ear to the ground, Mr. Jimmy Dore. You know how things work. You could go on your show and claim that my problem went away because Chelsea Clinton killed him with a blow dart during a butt massage. And you might not be wrong. <laughs> wow. Wow, indeed. Wowie, wowie. <laughs> Well, Mr. Spacey, I have to say, in real life, you are 20 times as terrifying as any movie villain I've ever seen. That's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs>